Welcome back to World of Warships Legends with Red Sorax, and today we've reached 50 subscriber goal, and that was my goal for my first ship giveaway, and I said I'd give away a tier 3 when I reached 50. And I appreciate everybody that's joined me over the past 3 months. I honestly only did this because my friends said I should give it a try, and I enjoy doing it. That's why I don't have paid advertising in my stream. For now, I mean, if I hit 10,000, you never know what's going to happen. But uh, right now, I'm just enjoying it, and I do it around my job. So this is the ship I plan on giving away, or what I plan on doing is giving you a gift card to buy the credits. It's 4,000 credits in the store. I plan on giving out a $20 gift card to either system, Xbox, or PlayStation. And you can buy the 5,200 and change gold for that and then you can use it for whatever you want but it's meant to buy the Nassau so all you have to do to enter to win is give a thumbs up and comment below in the comments what system you use PlayStation or Xbox and I'll have an independent person pick the winner and I will come I will message you back and either get you an email from you or get something from you in a way to do it if you're on PlayStation I can message you online if you're on Xbox I can just send it to you in an email but this is the ship we're looking at today the Nassau premium tier 3 it's the Halloween skin on it and I am using hide I'm running single flags it's an enjoyable ship it's really fun to play now let's take a look at the commander. We're running the Halloween Commander Hyde, and his base trait is Wrenchman Extraordinaire, giving 4.8% more health to the base of the ship. So at tier three, not so great, but on my Gross Curve first, yeah, with this build, I have over 100,000 health points on my Grossa. Now for the next slot, we're gonna go with Brawler. That's what I usually use when I have the choice. Give me a faster reload, more detectability. Not worried about the range, this is a close up fighter ship. And of course in my German style ships, I love Porcupine. I love getting in there and mixing it up and just watching the fireworks. Now in our third slot, we go with Marksman. Help with our dispersion, because it is German dispersion people. Yeah, the rudder shift sucks, but what are you gonna do about it? And then our fourth slot, we have Master Mechanic and that gives us extra heals and it works out really well with the build I'm going with and then running with scissors is our legendary it helps with the traverse speed of the guns and the rudder shift time to take back some of that rudder shift time of course it screws with our dispersion more German dispersion what are you gonna do and I've got William Sims as our first inspiration adds more health and in our second to go with that secondary build we got Von Hipper. 14.25 more range. And in our first slot, sticking with the secondaries, we go with the secondary battery mod 2. That'll get us out there. And that'll get our dispersion down. To help with all these fires from the HE spammers and the people like me that shoot secondaries, second mod is damage control systems mod. In our third slot, we have target acquisition system and this is a tier 3 with 4 slots that's why this is a potent ship and in our fourth slot we are going with a secondary build of course secondary battery mod 3 really gonna reach out and do some work here that gives us a health pull of 38,240 with armor going up to 400 millimeters a total pedo reduction of 13% now this is where the bread and butter is. The guns aren't so well. The dispersion is kind of crap on them. But when they hit, they hit pretty okay. They're small caliber, but it is tier three. But I have a 7.6 kilometer secondary firing range with a 3.2 second reload time. And they fire fast and I've got a bunch of them. And 7.6 kilometers is the same range I have on the gross purpose with this build. And that's legendary tier. So this thing will get in and mix it up. 
and we have a top speed of 23.7 knots a turning circle of 500 meters and a rotor shift time 11.2 and of course the concealment on a battleship which absolutely nobody cares about so let's go on into the gameplay today we've got the big race and we are in a division with Hader, which I know that if you watched any of my videos lately, you've seen him with me. And we're going to see what we can do with this build we have. And obviously, we're looking down the, I guess, be southwest side or whatever side you want to call it. So we're going to just going to head over to the right. I'm not going to head into the middle with this get open there with uh, too many ships uh, gratefully there's only one destroyer on each team but the cruisers at tier 3 do have torpedoes that's when you start getting them and everybody wants to be a destroyer captain when they're in a cruiser at this tier so they try to dump out torpedoes and not worry about staying at range with guns so we'll take a look at the map here in a minute the overhead view and we are in a tier 3, tier 4, so we're bottom tier, but there are only two tier 4s on each side. One's a, one's a Peter and a Marblehead. I'm going to salivate at that Marblehead. And, of course, there's the Peter dead ahead of me. <laughs> well, let's bring it on, bitch. So we're heading out, and I'm communicating with my partner behind me, talking about what we're going to do up, and up ahead. And he's got my back. I'm very aggressive, that's why I'm pretty much not as great at a battleship as I should be, because I get a little too aggressive with them, but I do know what I'm looking for, and it is his only digital, it's not real ships, it's not going to really kill people, but there is no need to throw ships away either, so, now we see this Kuma, and I know, I'm not spotted, so I'm sitting here thinking this guy is not going to come around this corner and just give me the flat broadside. Now I'm spotted. I'm hard spotted from the left. But I'm watching this Kuma and just hoping and praying he's going to give me the sweet flat broadside. And sure enough, there it is. Shots out and... Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> So I'm already assuming Torps are coming in, and that Kuma, he knows he got punished, and he's going back to get away from it, and my partner's trying to take him out, and now we have another flat broadside ship right beside us, waiting for the reload here, got shots off, they weren't that great, and he just got punished some more. And now we have the Danane flat broadside. There are the torpedoes. I pre-predicted them. Came turned in to get away from them. Shots out at the Danane and... Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Man, flat broadside on. And at this range, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> now the Peter and I are duking it out. My partner's going shots in. You can see the shots from my partner coming in. And he's bow tanking my partner. So I get a little sweet side in there. Yeah, that looked good right there. Now my partner told me Torps were coming in for him, and there they are. So here they come. Give him a little devastation, and he's gone. Now that Phoenix is just behind. You see the secondary is just this whole time going absolutely nuts. The Kuma's over there getting shots at it. Now I don't want to go around this corner and give my flat broadside to somebody, so I'm going to ease around here. And look at that little bitty booty there. <laughs> I had just the ass of the ship sticking out from the island, and, and, I, and I reached out and touched it just with the tip. <laughs> so now we got our, our side cleared. Torpedo from my, from my own uh, teammates. You got to love that. Thank God there's nothing with uh, friendly fire in this game. So we're uh, kicking along here. And we've already got 58 secondary hits. Not doing too bad, 57,000. We've got shots out at the uh, marble head. And we got one over penetration, plunging in. Didn't do too well. Keep this island to our side. 
Got our guns trained over at the marble head. We're going to try one more time at the marble head. Shots out. And... Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> I can't help it, people. It's in my contract. <laughs> so, now we've got a Kaiser. And I just saw a flash of a Kuma. So, I bet torpedoes are on their way. And there they are. Turning in. Dropping speed. Gonna dodge these torpedoes. Oh, look at that. Like a pro. Like I knew what I was doing. Uh, truthfully, people, I have no idea what I'm doing in this game. <laughs> So there's the Marblehead, and I am worried about the Marblehead. The Marblehead's got good torpedoes. Now, he's coming up beside the island. My partner's focusing him. I'm trying to get my guns trained. I am bow tanking the battleship in front of me. So I'm not worried about the Kaiser. Bam, look at that. Just ricochets off all good angles. The bow armor on this ship is awesome. Now, the two fists up there don't really do a lot. You know, I don't know if they're cosmetic, but I don't think they have anything to them. So I was looking to fire at that Kaiser but this marble head has to go down sooner so I'm holding the shots on the Kaiser until well there it went the marble head went down by my partner so now I can give the Kaiser my rounds and I'm giving up way too much angle to him but I've got to bow tank this Kaiser in front of me at the same time so shots will be coming in and there they are I just took a little bit of a paddling by him my fault so I'm gonna give some angle to him unfortunately I'm gonna to give too much to this gentleman but you can only angle one or the other. And this guy is at close point blank range. Secondaries are opened up. They're about, they're just going to town on both sides. There's the high caliber and the Confederate. Just doing the work. Secondary is getting some punching in. We're at 90,000. I'm bow tanking the, uh, the Kaiser in front of me. Now I can get some angle on the one behind me. And there's angle there. Not great angle, but enough angle. He's got torpedoes going in, but I'm still working. But you see the secondaries are just going to town, and I'm racking up secondary hits. Yes, they're not great like the big ones, but at this tier, they're still doing work. And almost got him, but he got down, knocked out by the flood of the torpedoes. Now we're going to bow tank this Kaiser. Working in. Secondary still going to town. We're at 127, 138 secondary hits. Doing some real work here. And we're going to get our guns trained around. And we're going to, he's angling on us. We have angle on him, but we're going to go for that cheek armor and try and get into the cheeks. There it is. Got three pins. Nothing great. No citadels, but we got the pins, two over pins. And we did, we did uh, ricochet three. But everybody's focusing him down. He's the last ship. And we're at 105,000 damage. And our secondaries are still just racking it in. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. And we just got the dreadnought because of all the healing. And I survived the battle. A quick look at the post-battle result screen. 104,829 damage. Dreadnought, Confederate, high caliber. Came out top of the leaderboard with two kills. Our partner's in third place with two kills. Again, not too bad, not too shabby. 1,500 base. And with one flag, I made 147,000 credits take home profit. And I hope you enjoyed this. And be sure to leave a comment to uh, get the uh, prize. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye.